We've seen a few games that use yarn or cloth as its main aesthetic, and I just got done playing another game to add to the list called Woven. But is what Woven weaves worth taking a look at, or should you just let this one unravel? For the most part, Woven is a very colorful, pleasant puzzle experience, but it does have a bunch of stuff that ends up hindering the overall enjoyment. In the game, you're playing as a lost stuffed animal. You're not sure what your purpose is in the world, but soon you're joined by a mechanical firefly known as Glitch. Together, you two go on an adventure dealing with weird machinery that is permeating the otherwise very lovely environment and trying to make your way towards the moon of this world because Glitch has a feeling he's connected to it. The game is skewed a bit towards a younger audience. The core gameplay is mostly just walking around and exploring. You do gain all sorts of new abilities throughout the game, the coolest aspect being the ability to switch and match up various parts of your stuffed animal. While you start off looking like an elephant, quickly you'll unlock different patterns and different parts to not only change the appearance, but also gives your character some new abilities. Unfortunately though, to use these new abilities, it's just a little interact icon instead of actually getting to do anything really cool in the game, like running, wall jumping, or platforming of any real kind. Unfortunately, you move at a snail's pace in Woven, so exploring some of the larger areas becomes a chore. There's no real guidance system or anything like that, but for the most part the game is pretty linear, and a lot of times just moving to the next area requires a very small puzzle to be solved. Usually just a single interaction is enough to solve it before you're able to continue on and move to the next place. There are a few things to keep an eye out for, but there's no side quest or other real side objectives for you to go after, so mostly you're just going to be focusing on getting through each area. Along with your characters moving unfortunately slow, there's also problems in just traversing the world. There's tons of invisible walls, and it's very easy to get snagged on the various pieces of the environment. There was a lot of times where just walking around the game was honestly frustrating. And while the game is aimed at a younger audience, I think some of the puzzles are going to be a bit too difficult for them to solve, as well as the rhythm-based minigame that you have to do in order to get patterns and the like may be a bit difficult for the younger gamers as well. Presentation-wise, I did enjoy the graphics for the most part. I thought the colorful world here created and woven has a lot of heart put into it, and while some areas were a bit boring to explore, at least they were mostly nice to look at, I also really liked the narration that was done throughout the game. From the technical side of things, while the game didn't crash on me, I did have those problems just navigating the environment, there's texture pop and slow down, and the like all throughout the game, so there are some noticeable performance issues. Woven is available now on the PlayStation 4 for $19.99, and it does feature a platinum trophy. The game is also available on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and PC. Overall, Woven's one of those games I really wanted to love, but unfortunately, some of the technical issues as well as gameplay issues ended up hindering my experience. I do think there's going to be some out there that really end up loving the game, but it's just a bit hard for me to recommend, at least at the full price. With everything said, I'm going to be giving Woven on the PlayStation 4 a 5 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review though. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.